clean water to drink. I'd like my grandkids to have clean water to drink. I think it's terrible that the state of Iowa sends dirty water all the way down to the Gulf. The oil isn't the only thing that's a problem in the Gulf. It's our dirty, stinking water. Hey. We will save you for the bed. <laughs> Hell no! Shit on snow! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Okay. One more from Brent. Uh, you of the older generation, now the younger generation probably doesn't remember ever doing this, but as a youngster, I remember drinking out of a tile line, and it was the best tasting water you could ever drink. How many of you would dare to do that now? <laughs> no, no, sir. No, sir. All right. See, you Well, I'm here today because uh, we as humans are 85% well, water, whatever it is, you know. So water is very important to us to maintain our, our existence, and we need clean water in order to do that. It's a, it's a world problem having potable water. Many places in the Africa and so on can't even get water that's potable. And uh, we need to maintain access to bottled water here. I have another thought here. I have another thought about these factory farms. When I was raising hogs back 10, 15 years ago, we used to rotate and we had straw. Today, there's very little rotation. And if you drive up and down the, the highways today, you're going to see a lot of crop diseases popping up. And this is going to be a, a pretty serious question to this year for family farmers. But like I said, we're, you know, a lot of the grain that I used to raise for my hogs now is going into the marketplace and the big hog factories are getting the dirt cheap. So we need to have uh, family farms and more rotation, straw bedded livestock feeding and things like that. That's right. That's right. That's right. I might look old, but I'm not that old. And we used to eat fish from our streams and our rivers, and we can't do that anymore. Water is such a precious resource. We should not be doing what we are doing. That's right. That's right. And Susie just celebrated a birthday, too, her 39th. Oh. <laughs> I just went on the Iowa River a couple years ago and got really sick from uh, paddling a canoe down that river. So we need to clean it. That's right. We need to clean up those waters. Anybody else? Oh. Uh, uh, Jim? Why are you here by that big egg factory? We have many, lots of chicken manure in Wright County, and a lot of it gets piled up right along beside the river, and they pile it up there just before it snows so that they can go out and spread it after it snows. And I have pictures, I've taken it, shown them to the DNR, and it still happens. That ain't right. Strasnick and I'm a former rancher. From Speak up, John. Okay. There we go. Uh, my name is John Strasnick. I'm a former rancher from Montana. And when I seen the water here compared to there, I will not fish in this state and I will not hunt because I feel that there is nothing worth eating out of that shithole, literally. <laughs> <laughs> yes. no? Sherry, you want to talk about clean water? I love to canoe, and I uh, several years, years ago I went canoeing on the Raccoon River. Now with all the factory farms that are polluting the Raccoon River, I wouldn't even think of it, just because you like to get out of the canoe and, and take a break or, or that kind of thing. It's, it's not safe anymore. That's right. We've heard a lot of good reasons about why we're here today for clean water, to stand up and tell DNR to do its job to stand up against corporate polluters that are dirtying Iowa's waterways. Let's... Yeah. No. No, we don't. No, no. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what, it's going to be about probably another five minutes. We're going to give uh, the other press to get here. Um, so let's uh, practice maybe a few more chants. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. Uh, yeah I'm not sure. I... Sounded kind of like you said. Family farms, yes! Factory farms, no! Family farms, yes! Factory farms, no! Family farms, yes! Factory farms, no! Family farms, yes!
Farms, yes! Factory Farms, no! All right! Clean water now! 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 Do your job! Do your job! DNR, 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 do your job! All right! All right, why are we here today? Tell me what democracy looks like! This is what democracy looks like! Tell me what democracy looks like! This is what democracy looks like! Tell me what democracy looks like! This is what democracy looks like! Tell me what democracy looks like! This is what democracy looks like! Show me what democracy looks like! This is what democracy looks like! Show me what democracy looks like! This is what democracy looks like! All right! On the bus that you might have heard, we're gonna beat back the manure attack. We're gonna beat beat back the manure attack. We're gonna beat beat back the manure attack. We're gonna beat beat back the manure attack. Are we responsible to give the next generation a group that's harmful? 
little old and so on. Yes. yes. I, yes. Think, I think the religious communities ought to be our strongest support in this yes. issue. The Creator gave us the creation, and we aren't taking good care of it. And we pray that you have right. Okay, folks, we've got a camera with us today, too, so we're going to go ahead and tape it. Let's go ahead and just kind of crowd up a little bit because we want to make sure that this is a, a good visual for, for uh, cameras, right? And get everybody's pretty faces on camera. Um, so just go ahead and...